Seasoned Diablo 2 players might be familiar with some of the crazy imported and bugged items that have existed in D2 history. But believe it or not, there are actually bugged items in existence right now on Battle.net that some players have never seen. Most of these items were not duped and few people have had the chance to lay eyes on them until now. In this video, you'll get to see some interesting bugged items and at the request of the owner of some of these, I'm gonna give my theory on how I think they came into existence. Let's dive in. We've all heard of the classically bugged items like white rings, white gloves, and hexing charms. Maybe you had other favorites like the bugged belt or oculus rings, but those bugged items are very well known and do not exist on the realm anymore. As a little bit of history, all of these bugged items I'm about to show you came out around the same time as hybrids. You might remember our video on the history of hybrids and how those were made. Additionally, I want to extend a long overdue apology for the sound quality and my AV skills back in those days. To sum up part of that video, something called a stale reference had to be made in the game which would be used to create what's called a buffer overflow and then deliver the ultimate payload, which was removing the runes from an item without destroying its rune word properties. I tell you that to tell you this. It's speculated that the script that was used to create hybrid rune words by removing the original runes was also responsible for the return of Zod bugging during that time. Zod bugging refers to a now patched glitch that allowed players to remove a socketed Zod rune from an item and still have that item retain its indestructible quality. Here are some Zod bugged items that are surprisingly still in existence on closed Battle.net today. Notice that they are ethereal and indestructible, but do not contain a Zod rune. Ethereal weapons are useful because they provide 50% more damage at the cost of lasting only a limited time. But when they're Zod bugged like this, they last forever. This is a Zod bugged Fury of Chaos, or in other words, a Zod bugged hybrid rune word. This suggests that some serious juck fuckery was going on in the era of hybrid creation. And if it wasn't evident from that item alone, it will definitely be clear after seeing this item. El Shaco. This is a Zod bugged Shaco with zero defense. The only reason it has 15 defense on it is because of the L rune that's socketed in it. The fact that it's ethereal means that it should have 50% more defense than usual, but the exact opposite is the case. This makes it actually worse than a regular Shaco, but it's a trophy of a bugged item to say the least. And to squelch the rumors, no, this item will not poof if you remove the L rune from it. How do I know? I tried it out in single player by creating an exact replica. My hypothesis was that the item would poof much like if items do when you save and exit the game. However, that's just not the case. So whoever owns this Zod bugged ethereal Shaco with zero defense, fear you not, you can actually take the L rune out of it. But I mean, at this point, it's just a collector's piece anyway, so. Why would you? Here's another bugged item that's far less useful than it is just weird. This might look like a fused unique upon first glance, but after further inspection, you can tell that it's not. This is a lightsaber blade, which is supposed to spawn on a phase blade instead of an elegant blade. It's also supposed to have some different properties. When you look at it next to a real lightsaber, you can see the differences in abilities. It's even quite dissimilar than Blood Moon, the real unique elegant blade. The next bugged item is a little more useful, but nonetheless random. This small charm has one ability on it plus five to maximum fire resist. This is not supposed to spawn on a small charm, but most of you already knew that. But this could be extremely useful for a variety of reasons. A friend of mine owned this for a brief amount of time and it's still circulating around out there somewhere. This is the only one of these charms known to exist. This next item could also be useful and that is the bugged Nagel Ring. Now before you get your hopes up about finally building that level 9 dueler you've always wanted, let it be known that there's only one of these in existence. LLD uses aside, having plus 32 to maximum damage on a ring is pretty cool. That one copy of this was last known to have sold for somewhere around 40,000 forum gold. 
Remember the stale reference we talked about? I believe those are at the root of the creation of these bugged items. Although most of the ways that stale references were created have been patched in D2, there are still some ways to create them. Considering this and the time frame in which some of these random bugged items came into existence, it's my official prediction that these items were created when a hacker went rogue or just someone using the hybrid creation program. I don't know if they deserve the title hacker, to be honest. They likely began the process of creating a hybrid item, but stopped halfway through that process and started either magic finding or replacing their cell item target with a different item. Any action that you do in these classic games puts memory into what's called a buffer. That buffer will eventually deliver a payload in the form of a game action or game response. And if that buffer is already overloaded via a stale reference, any number of things can happen. This pumped seemingly other random things into their packet payload and with an active stale reference, the game might have spit out some weird results. It sounds simple, but makes a lot of sense. While doing such a thing so blindly with a stale reference will often lead to a game crash, every once in a while you might be able to trick the game into spawning an item with some weird abilities and remaining stable. To drive the point home, if the hackers really knew what they were doing, they would have been able to adjust the packet payload and pull from tables with abilities that were a little more broken. Now don't get me wrong, some of these are definitely useful, but they don't necessarily hold a candle to some of the things that we've seen created in the past. Nonetheless, they are absolute trophies and very cool to look at. Special thank you to Ryan900 for sharing these with me, and a special thank you to you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Now I hate to cause any unnecessary panic and make people jump on D2 and start doing Mephisto runs right away, but... Some people theorize that the fusion of unique items to this day is still possible. 